Hi everyone, N2CUA here. This is just what we're looking at here right now is there's actually a signal down in that noise floor at around 100 and, well, minus 134 dBm, but you can't really see it mixed in there with the noise. So <clears throat> one thing we can do is um, set the trace to video averaging and help remove some of the noise so that you might be able to see that really really low level weak signal. So I'm going to go to trace and then trace type video average and I'm going to change the number of times to 50 and we'll see if the signal pops up out of that noise. should be around the center of the screen. Now what I'm going to do is hit the peak button and do peak peak. It, it, kind of a contrasting thing but it does try to actually you know what we'll do frequency peak center frequency and it seems that it found something. It's supposed to be at 7 megahertz. <coughs> I guess it's cleaning up the noise again because I changed the setting. So it's saying the center frequency is set at 7.00031. That's where it thinks the signal is. And the marker frequency up on top says marker 1, 7.000, at a minus 133 point, whoops, it changed to minus 134.6 dBm. But we could try the frequency counter. Uh, I think that was marker function. And then um, frequency counter, and the resolution will crank that baby down to, we'll just make it 10 hertz and then turn it on and see what we get for that sleep. There it goes. 10.00003 megahertz. Now at minus 135.86. As you can see, with the video averaging, it's slowly cleaning up the noise and showing you that weak signal way down, way down in the mud there. I'm using an Elcraft XG3 signal source. It's a fairly reliable and accurate source. It's got tolerances. It's not like, you know, a thousand dollar device or anything like that, but it's fairly accurate. The ARRL did some testing on it and said it's fairly accurate. That signal is supposed to be through a 30 dB attenuator. I a home brood and should be 137 dB minus 137 and it's reading minus 136.24 so that's that's fairly accurate and it's supposed to be 7 megahertz and it's reading 30 hertz high and hopefully you can see the the little blip down there at the bottom on the trace the little hill as it were with the number one marker on it reading at 7.00 Zero, three. Um, one thing you might notice if you can see the bottom of the screen is that the span is turned all the way down to like 9.5 kilohertz and uh, resolution bandwidth which is like the window that it's seeing as it goes across the screen is only 100 hertz wide is set to 100 hertz and the video bandwidth is set to 100 hertz but with a little tweaking and tuning you can pull a pretty weak signal out of the noise floor on this not to any signals that would be intermittent in nature. That would be one that's fairly consistent, just low level and, and hard to read when it's mixed in with the noise. So that's about it. The uh, analyzer is a nice analyzer. It can do that. I wanted to show you that it was capable of it. Um, this is N2CUA, 7.3s, and um, hope you all enjoyed.